Hey fellas, Bale here with Prairie Pistons. I uh, just got the cow hood finally down on my truck. Got it uh, picked up from the body shop and got it clean for once. Just with the way our roads have been this spring, it's pretty hard to keep the truck clean this year. So everything's cleaned up. I thought it'd be a good time to give you guys a closer look and just an update and show you the job and how it all turned out. Uh, just to catch everyone up to speed, for anyone who hasn't seen my previous video, I picked up a white truck like this, just a parts truck. It had this cow hood on it. I just wanted the hood. I offered the guy 600 bucks, but he didn't want to split it from the truck. So I just bought the whole thing for 900 bucks. And yeah, I took the hood off, got it painted. And uh, yeah, here we are today. So I think it turned out pretty good. I wasn't sure really what to expect, you know, trying to paint match a hood to a 25 year old truck just with the metallic and the paint and the green and everything but i'll let you guys be the judge i think it turned out pretty good definitely nailed the metallic i would say but yeah very happy with how that turned out and honestly the price was pretty fair i thought uh, i got a quote from other people they were pretty much twice the twice the amount to get it uh, painted just to match this truck so the uh, total bill was just under 800 bucks most of that being labor i think the paint was two 250 bucks so yeah the rest was labor just to get it uh sanded down and then repainted i think there's a couple small hail dents to fix and stuff but yeah very happy with how it turned out so in case anyone's trying to pencil out how it worked out for the total cost compared to just buying a new hood and everything uh, so brand new cowl hood is like over a thousand bucks like i can call it different places but a thousand twelve hundred bucks it's kind of around there and i'm sure stuff's gone up now since i've called um but yeah i bought the truck that white parts truck for 900 bucks and then i sold it a couple weeks ago for 450 so kind of lost half the value but got the cowl hood and uh so i paid essentially 450 bucks for the hood and then like i said 800 bucks for the paint job so color match cowl hood for 1250 i think that that was a uh, pretty good deal anyways uh, to get it where it is today uh sure if you want to i had to go pick it up so you can factor some fuel in there um but that was that was before gas was two dollars two dollars a liter so that made a little more sense then but yeah really if you were to go buy it new and do it all it'd be over two grand so i don't know i don't know if uh, some of you guys are probably think that maybe i could have sold that white truck for more than 450 bucks but uh, go watch that other video there it was uh it was in pretty rough shape it was really more or less just kind of worth scrap so 450 bucks that's about right uh to me anyways because you know you get someone here to come pick it up for scrap they're gonna take some off you know to account for that or if i have to haul it somewhere for scrap same thing i spend that on fuel so i don't think 450 bucks was too bad i also gotta take a couple parts off of that truck and then put it on this one so i gained a bit there and then i even uh, gave some other stuff off, off of it to uh friends and family got some wood and some stuff and trade there so and i mean the, the memories are obviously priceless to me anyways uh uh, all the pictures and videos I got to make and stuff. I always love looking back on that stuff and have fun doing it. I've also changed up the front end a bit over the last uh, year and a half or so. Just a couple little things that I never ended up making a video on. So I'll just uh, work my way down. Uh, so I changed up the factory headlights with these uh, clear, I think it was Anzo, I believe. Uh, headlights and the corner markers and then i got a different grill it's the same kind of style as a factory one except just the center here is chrome instead of black uh, i wanted to keep that the same just because i have a winter front that works good in that style of grill so just thought that'd be the simplest and then i also picked up this smooth chrome bumper on kijiji uh, last year i think uh, it's off a wt model i'm no obs expert but i'm pretty sure that those smooth ones only came on the wts i believe but someone can correct me if i'm wrong as you guys probably know, like the that molding there on the side on most of these trucks continues onto the bumper and around. Some guys take them off, and then there's the holes behind it, and then it's usually kind of scuffed up and just and then you can cover it with a chrome strip. But yeah, I, I kind of thought this looked better. It was on it's on Kijiji for a hundred bucks. So I went out and picked that up. It uh, it's a little tweaked on the one side, but I don't know if you guys can even tell. It's yeah, a little higher on this side, but it looks pretty good for the most part. I've met a couple cops here now in Manitoba without the front plate and haven't got pulled over yet, but that's probably just more luck than anything. So knock on wood and uh, keep having some of that, I guess, and just keep getting away with it because I don't know. I, <laughs> I wish it was like Saskatchewan, don't need a front plate because it just kind of takes away from the look of a truck. So like I said in other videos, this is a two inch cowl hood. Uh, this one's steel, it's not fiberglass. I didn't really want something too flimsy, so that worked out good. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the more iconic one that you see on these trucks. These other models are kind of, I don't really know all the numbers, but this would, I would say, be the most common one or the one most people are kind of after. It's definitely very clean and simple and just kind of matches the truck perfectly, I would say. And yeah, I would say one of the better looking cowl hoods out there for sure. I'll just take a minute to point this out too, because it's just something I never even really thought of. But once you have a cowl hood on, you actually can't lift your wiper blade arm all the way up, like kind of just enough to turn your blade before it hits. So I think that might be a little 
fun to change the wiper once it's kind of like that just a bit more awkward and just before i end this video guys let's give you a little shot from the inside although i'm sure a lot of you've been inside of obs with a cow head but that view almost is means just as much to me as from the outside that looks freaking good just kind of you know put a smile on your face when you're driving it for the first few times well that's pretty much it for today's video guys i just uh, basically wanted to give you guys a better luck almost an in-person view just to see how everything turned out uh my advice to any other obs owners out there if you've been thinking about a cow hood for your truck i i wouldn't put her off any longer it's definitely worth doing i uh, held off two years uh for doing this one you know and just the opportunity that came up with that other truck and worked out but definitely uh my favorite thing i've ever done to it uh you know it's just something that kind of sets them apart from the others you see on the road and uh just totally changes the look of the truck so get on her fellas if you can and uh as usual catch in the next one